What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. And if you guys watched week one of the Elite Conference from the Ultimate League yesterday, then you probably noticed if you got to watch the Stevie J Skimbo game, you probably noticed Stevie had a very unique defense that really locked up Skimbo. He ended up blowing him out. You can see right here it's already 17-0, you know, with a little over two minutes left in the second quarter. So beating a player of Skimbo's caliber that badly is a really impressive feat, and it was a lot to do with his defense. He came out with a very unique, it was a 3-4 even OLB strike 2 setup, and I'm pretty sure he was running it flipped. I'm almost positive. And really, the, the main thing that makes this play good is that blitz that comes off the left edge. As you can see, this stack out here by the linebacker and the defensive end. That linebacker comes off the edge. I think he was spreading his line and pinching his linebackers to get that look. I'm not 100% positive, but that's the look you want to get. You want to get that stack. And really, it was a very simple setup at the core. Uh, what he was doing was he was going ahead. He was rushing three, so he was also rushing his defensive tackle. He would drop his defensive end, his backside defensive end, into a spy. He was using, as you can see right here, he was using this linebacker in the gap to do that gap manipulation trick where you basically kind of occupy the attention of that right guard. And what you were hoping for in this setup is that basically uh, these two defenders right here, or, or these two linemen rather, the left guard and center, are going to double team the center. You're going to get the left tackle to attack the defensive end, and then Stevie's going to occupy the right guard with his user defender, and that's going to allow the right outside linebacker in that stack to come off the edge free. So uh, Skimbo was running that seven-man protection out of that gun bunch a lot, so the blitz was getting picked up, but it was still getting you know solid pressure, making Skimbo move his mark out of the pocket, and then Stevie was able to send the spy after Skimbo now. The other adjustments that he was going with out of this play, it's a cover two shell, so he was sticking with the two deep safeties, and then the cloud flats, soft squats, hard flats, whatever you wanted underneath out there in the flats. And then he was doing the popular setup of dropping this middle linebacker deep into a deep third, so it was basically becoming a three deep shell, but the magical spot on this defense and the spot that was giving Skimbo fits is this left outside linebacker position right there. And I believe he was using uh, the out of position 78 overall middle linebacker Jabril Peppers for this. Uh, but what you can do is, if you guys don't know, three receiver hooks this year are very, very good. They're by far the best hook zone, and they just play better than any other hook zone, especially aggressively over the middle of the field, defending against drag routes, which a lot of people love to run and abuse this year. And that's really a cornerstone of this gun bunch offense is a lot of times it's a post route with a drag route underneath. And so the way he was getting a three receiver hook on this play is he was bluff blitzing that left outside linebacker. And if you don't know, bluff blitz, go ahead and go over to him, press A or X on, you know, PS4, Xbox, and then right stick to the right. And that's going to bluff blitz him. So you don't automatically have the option to put him in a three receiver hook at the line of scrimmage. I believe you have the option to put him in a vertical hook. Uh, but in that way, you can get him into a three-rec hook. And what that's going to do on this play is you're going to see Skimbo goes with a dig HB out setup. And Jabril Pe and that's, like I said, 78 overall Jabril Peppers. You see him dropping back at the snap, dropping back. And see how aggressively he had just attacked underneath on that drag route. So now Stevie knows that Jabril is going to be all over this drag route right here. And Stevie knows I need to just run and go back for that deep post route and that dig HB out. He knows that's his only assignment he knows that he can safely assume that drag route is going to be locked up you see the pressure actually kind of came in off that left edge and jamal charles ended up having to throw a block so skimbo's having to move to the right and that will allow stevie to send the spy if he moves too far just get him off balance a little bit stevie dropping back and you see the the underneath three receiver hook just chucked skimbo's drag route as you see skimbo going for a playmaker at this point stevie's already got a block shed in the backfield and so Skimbo's really on a time clock now. But that's the other amazing thing is how far underneath Jabril Peppers was going to guard this route. And then not only was he playing so aggressively, he chucks him over the middle of the field and completely messes up Skimbo's timing. At that point, Stevie had already gotten a block shed and Skimbo was on the clock. Literally nothing open. Skimbo was trying to make that adaptation of kind of playmakering the drag route upfield right there and trying to hit him in that little pocket. But a lot of times... Either he wasn't able to get the time for it because of, like you just saw, a block shed right there. Or even if he was, you know, Stevie was able to recover and still able to defend it uh, over the middle. Because at this point, whenever, uh, later on in the game actually, Skimbo ran Dig HB out. And Stevie peeled off of this uh, deep post route to kind of peel back over there because he saw that's what uh, Skimbo was doing. 
And so at this point, Skimbo tried to bait that, or, or anticipate it rather, and throw this deep post route like right here. And Stevie had Larry Wilson come by right there and react with that 91 plus zone coverage and make an interception. So Skimbo was just all sorts of discombobulated in this matchup, and it showed with how much he struggled. And I think that through receiver hook bluff blitz by Stevie J was the main factor in that happening. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I thought this was a very cool and unique setup from Stevie J, uh, especially since this is the first time we get to see him and, and all these other guys in the Elite Conference play uh, for the first time at least in a long time. So like always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, guys, take it easy.